What do you see the future of the driving being like of the highway? Well, everybody wants us, you know, the screen blew down in April of 96, and uh, we didn't know what to do. It was, it was, we took a risk again. Uh, we knew we couldn't sell the drive then with the, with the set here and no screen, and it, it's, it's farmland, so it, it wasn't worth much, 11 acres. Uh, so we decided, my son decided to take the chance, and uh, so he uh, undertook it. and. Uh, we had quite a hard time. We uh, we tried to get it done locally, but I don't think the local contractors really knew enough about it to bid accurately. They were way high for what they were going to do. So my son Larry finally uh, contacted one in Texas. Well, he was all set to do it. He was a one-man crew, he worked by himself, and he was going to build it out of wood again. But he was working in New York State and. Uh, Somehow he fell off at the top of the, the tower he was building and fell 35 feet. And as of today, uh, he's still in a coma. So when Larry was notified of this, he contacted, I guess, the only other really builder around uh, out of Ohio and uh, got a bid from them. And they said, well, they'd build it at, at their factory, uh, not a factory, but at their place, and uh, bring it up here and assemble it, which, which they did. They, they arrived on Tuesday, uh, started Tuesday morning, uh, dug the hole, uh, hired a local, hired mostly all local uh, contractors for uh, with the backhoe, uh, dug the hole, and, and the first thing Wednesday morning they poured the cement, and, uh, and then from then on it was just a matter of, uh, they hired a crane to put the steel up and uh, it only took, anyway, it was only a day and a half, and people couldn't believe it. They drove by to see the July 12th opening, and, and there was nothing there. And they said, well, you know, they just couldn't believe that on the, uh, that on the 10th we, uh, we had it up. Uh, and what went on the 7th, we didn't. And it just uh, amazed everybody. It got on AP wire, and uh, I got calls from clear around the, the state. Uh, what was, what was the name of the company that built the screen? That was an actual drive-in company? Or? Yes, that's all they do. Is, uh, I think it was the Selby. Either Shelby or Selby, I wasn't sure which. Uh, Larry took care of all that. Uh, I know they were going to build a uh, one in Moscow in, in uh, this month, I believe. In Moscow, Russia? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they build them all over. and uh, They got it down to a science. They know what they're doing. And they just send them what you want. And, the ratio you need for your for the distance, and they just take care of everything. Is the screen comparable to the old one? Inside? No, it's, it's, it's slightly smaller, but it, it it handles you know the flat perfect, and it the cinemascope bleeds off a little bit, but so did the old one. Well, they had extended the old one with, to make it bigger for cinemascope, and uh, we did not do that with this. But if you look at the picture side by side, they, this one looks a little smaller. You said, well, when the screen went down, everyone was really concerned that you... Oh, yeah. They all wondered if we were going to rebuild it. And I had actually people come up to me and ask if that, you know, they would like to have a benefit of some kind to raise money for the screen. And I said, well, you know, we wouldn't do that. But if you come to it when we get it built, that was the main thing. We have, a, you know, we have a, a small group that are real loyal. And whether it's enough to keep us going, I, I really can't say. But we're sure going to try